Connecticut investigates grandparents having to step in when their children are unable to raise their own kids because of drugs. That's right. As Issa Gutierrez tells us, the grandmas and the grandpas offer some stability for the kids when their home life has been devastated by opioids. Two generations under one roof. A visit to grandma's house should be really special. You can spoil them and then send them back. No. Winnie finds herself doing it all. She's now tasked with raising her son's two children. Yeah. Angelina is five, and Shaquille Jr. just turned one. It's very tiring. <laughs> um, Monday through Friday, I work full time. I get up at five o'clock. I don't go to bed until like probably ten thirty. <laughs> Where'd you learn that song? Angelina moved in with Winnie when the state removed her from her parents' home four and a half years ago. Her father, Winnie's son, became addicted to drugs after taking prescription painkillers following a serious car accident. No, 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 no. Here. Last year, Winnie took in her son, too. Their father's battle with drugs wasn't getting any better. In fact, less than a month later, he died after taking fentanyl-laced marijuana. Sometimes I get so angry. <sighs> I don't understand why things happen the way they do. And what scares me the most is probably if anything happens to me, what's going to happen to them? <laughs> okay, okay. And Winnie is not alone. There are nearly 19,000 other grandparents across the state raising their grandkids too. The numbers have just increased drastically um, nationwide. Um, and especially here in Connecticut. Yolanda Ortiz, who manages a program in Hartford that supports families like Winnie's, says the biggest hurdle the grandparents face is financial. You're getting about less than $400 a month from the state of Connecticut along with maybe some food stamps. Yolanda oversees 24 subsidized apartments in Hartford for grandparents who suddenly find themselves in this very situation. We have people who call every day asking if there is an opening. Although exacerbated by the opioid crisis over the last few years, this is nothing new. Come here and look for your hundred. Barbara Turner has raised seven grandchildren. This issue has been around for a long time. It's just a different issue and it's just with different people. Their mother died almost three years ago. A lot of sacrifice. It comes with a lot. And you don't know the depth of it until you're in it. Despite her single income and all of the other challenges that come with raising seven children. What got you through those times? Looking at them and having the desire to um, want better. Did I picture my life like this? Oh, no. Would I do it again? Yeah, I would. The grandmothers we talked to, they shared their story with us in hopes of raising awareness and expanding affordable or free programs for other grandparents in their situation. They both found groups and resources in their communities that they say helped them realize they're not alone. Issa Gutierrez, NBC Connecticut.